Sit down, shut up, and listen. Christina here. And Deanna here. And this is your Pim Daily Dose for November 3rd. Today we'll show you the trailer you all been waiting for, Grand Theft Auto V. A report earlier this week gave us some insight into why the Xbox Live indie game service is unavailable in Australia. And spoiler alert, the first 23 minutes of Skyrim has found its way online. Earlier today, that's the second in US time and third in Australia, Rockstar unleashed the first glimpse of Grand Theft Auto V. Ever since Rockstar made it known the trailer was coming, rumours have been circulating and buzz has been increasing as to just what, where and how GTA V will go down. Well, rather than talk about it, why don't you see for yourself? Or the... Ah, I don't know, that thing, that magic. You see it in the movies. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From that, that line of work. Be a good guy for once, a family man. So, I bought a big house. I came here, put my feet up, and thought I'd be a dad like all the other dads. My kids would be like the kids on TV. We'd play ball and sit in the sun, but, well, you know how it is. One of the true tragedies in Australia is that Xbox Live indie games are not even available. As games can be made by anyone all over the world, it means local Aussie developers can't even sell their games to the fellow Australians due to the Classification Act. A recent report at Kotaku highlighted this problem, adding that for Microsoft to launch Xbox Live indie games down under, they would have to pay for every single game released on the service, which could be astronomical. It's pretty much down to the classification review to put forward recommendations to set up a co-regulatory system. But given the time frame for an R18 Plus rating, it could be a long time before Microsoft can launch the service in Australia. With several studio closures, no real funding and no adult rating, it's just another reason we're considered a gaming backwater. The game is under a strict embargo, but the first 23 minutes of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has hit the internet. We can't show you the clips or will be banned and have a copies of the game taken away from us, but you can probably find them on another popular video gaming's website if you look hard enough. If you don't want the opening sequences spoiled, then don't watch it, but everything about this game is epic. Game of the year? It could be. But we're in the middle of still a few months of huge title, so the only thing we're focused on right now is where do we find the time to play them all. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is set for release on November 11th on Xbox 360, PC and PS3. I cannot wait. And that's your Beam Daily Dose for November 3rd. If you haven't already signed up, our Twitter feed is back up and running at www.twitter.com forward slash PimTV. Start following us now for all the news, reviews and videos that don't make the Daily Dose. Tweet. Get it? Yeah. See ya. <laughs>